Hey, what's up, guys? So, this is my this is gonna be my first YouTube video, and uh, I'm in the process of porting and polishing my LS53, uh, my LM7 truck intake manifold. So, I'm not really set up, you know. I, I ain't got a shed or a shop or nothing. I do most of my work on my front porch or whatever, or in the kitchen. And my old lady will let me get away with it. But uh, so I decided I can't really show you how I'm grinding on it, but I figured I'd stop and uh, just kind of do a halfway update on what I'm doing. And then maybe somebody will have some input for me. But uh, so basically, I took it look. I took a look at the runners on these things. Let's see here. Looking at the runners on these things, I decided to focus on a couple key areas uh, because. I'm really, I'm really into the portent because I already have a die grinder. I have carbide bits, you know, um, because I use them at work. But I don't really have any supporting mods to, to handle, you know, a bunch of ridiculous airflow or nothing like that. So I'm not trying to just hog the thing out. Uh, I'm just trying to, to find some focus key areas. So here's the first one I've seen. And this is pretty experimental for me. So there's pro hopefully somebody will jump on here that will kind of give me... Give me some advice or, you know, just discuss it with me. So let's see. For one, on the on the shape of these runners right here. See, I'm going to use my pointer here. So the first key area that I started looking at and started focusing on was, uh, see how, see how the, the shape of this runner is angled this way? You know, it kind of angles towards the right as they run down on this side so they're angled running down and then whenever they straighten up you know they straighten up here at the end to match the uh you know match the port on the head so the first thing i noticed was wherever wherever this angle is right here let's see i need to get a good shot of it wherever the angle on this port is there is a there is a change in the internal uh, dimensions of the port right here, and it's all right where this thick plastic is too, which works out pretty good. So the first thing I started doing was working away on the wall right here, because and you can't really see down into the port on the video here, but basically the port, if you look on the inside of the port, it has you know a straight shot, and then. Whenever the, you know, in the casting, whenever it turns, it has kind of like a lump right in here on the side. And it's the same for all of them. So it's like, see, so it goes down, it turns. So like on the inside, there's a lump here, a lump here, a lump here. And it's not really, I guess you couldn't really call it so much a lump, but it's just a it's a change in the internal geometry and i think that it's an area that you could that you could shave down to make that air flow in a more direct manner that's my understanding of it at least is i'm trying to increase flow not volume necessarily this last runner actually gives you the best view of it right here see how this thing comes down and then you can see it right here on the outside there you see how it comes down at an angle and then straightens up? So if you look inside here, and I don't think I'm gonna pick it up on this little on this little phone camera. But right inside that wall there, that's where I was focusing on because you can kind of see where it turns, and you can what you can do is you can match you can match this all this right here with the rest of this port going back up inside the intake. Um, let's see. Second area of focus was just generally the uh, the width of the of these ports compared to the width of my uh, of my intake ports on my heads. So I'm planning on pulling the heads off at some point and porting and polishing them as well, just because I like doing that. It's my hobby, I guess. Um, so I haven't done that. I'm not doing that right now, but I figured what I could do. Go ahead and do is match my match my gaskets and my intake ports on my on my manifold with with what's already on the heads because you know then i'll be closer whenever i go ahead and port the heads out so see i got my ruler right here 
it is cold out here today. Okay, so right now I've done quite I've done quite a bit of work on these. I've ground a lot. You can't really tell on the phone, but I ground a lot of material out of here. Um, and luckily, the way it's casted, it can really take it right there. Um, excuse me. So I've ground a lot of material out of here. Let's see here. These ports are reading. What is that? That's about an inch and a sixteenth. Inch and a sixteenth. Inch and uh, we'll call this it. You know, they're all they're all ballpark, right? That one's a little bit less. That's about that's like one inch on the money right there. If it would focus for me, but hell, just take my word for it. So these are all the width of these ports is an inch and a sixteenth right now. Um, whenever I started on them, I believe they were all around seven eighths or fifteen sixteenths. So there's a lot of, right here around the mouth of this port, excuse me, right here around the mouth of this port, there's a lot of extra material that can be removed. And again, from what, what I understand, I'm not trying to just hog it out because it doesn't do me any good if, you know, my, my intake runner right here is a certain volume and dimension and it gets huge right at the end. That doesn't do me any good, but what does me good is making sure that it's all consistent within that. So, second area of focus, I don't want to make this video too long. Let's see if I can turn a light on. I was thinking my camera could do a light, but hell, I got one in my pocket, what am I thinking? So, you see, I'm doing this by myself, I'm gonna try, try to show you. If you look down in there, you see on the bottom left hand corner how there's kind of like a you know the corner the bottom left hand corner of that port right there you see how you, you kind of see a line right well if you look if you follow this line back in there with a screwdriver and look at it with your eye right here at the very end at the very mouth of that port it it's a big it, there's a big lump right there Okay, and I believe that's probably I believe that's the case with uh, probably all four corners of every one of these ports, but especially especially on these bottom two right here are pretty bad. So if you go in here and uh, and waller this out and you make it match the rest of this geometry going back in there, you've increased your flow because now that air don't have to it don't have to ride up over any bumps or anything. It's just a straight shot. It, as far as I understand, it wouldn't do you no good to make it bigger than the rest of it, but if you can make it all match and you're really doing yourself a favor. Here's my third thing, and this is totally experimental. I don't know if this is gonna work, but you know, this is just my truck. I don't really have any supporting mods on this. Um, it's just, just to see if it'll, you know, what'll happen. See, I'm gonna start on the side, I ain't done yet. So, on these cathedral port heads, if you look, if you look how this injector goes in here, see how I put it in there. Okay. So that injector, that injector is seated down in that port all the way. My understanding of the cathedral port heads is basically that the cathedral part is just so that injector has the, has the, uh, geometry to spray right on the back side of the valve right so if you look at it it's kind of like uh the air coming out of the manifold just don't have you know the the, the gas sprays sprays uh into the the air stream i guess you could say but the air from the man from the intake manifold isn't really blowing over the injector you know it's kind of out of the way of the flow so and again this is experimental might be the wrong choice to make, but we'll see. What I wanted to try to do was blend that big square plastic, that big square plastic hunk that's right here on these ports. Right, that ain't a good shot. Right here on these ports, right? And, and blend it down. So it blends into, man, that ain't even focusing. Let's see. That's right, you gotta tap it where you want it to focus. 
blend at the end of this port blending it down so it turns into a cathedral shaped port at the end and blends into this hole right here trying to get a better shot of that maybe i get a flashlight on it that oop. that's about what i want it to look like i'm not going to take too much more off of that as far as that right there around that cathedral port but I don't I don't really know what that's going to do man but I feel like you see how you see how that that opens up right there at the very mouth of it and it's kind of like the airflow has a it has a more uh what would be the word for it it has it has a better it has a better flow going from this rectangular port in the manifold to the cathedral port of the head and what I was hoping is that that little lip right there being ground down would help that air flow better over that injector. And uh, I don't know, maybe atomize the fuel better, carry the fuel better, or maybe just flow better. I don't know. But here's another shot here of the head, I'm sorry, of the manifold without it being messed with. You know, it's just like, it's like it's way out of the way. I just didn't really get why they did it like that. But uh, anyway, this is a long video. Now I'm going to wrap it up here and maybe edit this or shorten it or whatever and make a part two when I'm done. All right.